finally, an English kitchen that has, let's not try to hide it, a horrible infestation. This place is, quite literally, a breeding ground for beetles. But David Hampton isn't calling in the pest control. In fact, he's happy to give up his entire home to these particular little bugs. They're hazel pot beetles, and habitat loss has made them one of the most endangered beetles in Britain. This box contains what look like rat droppings, but actually they're the beetles' larvae. When mother beetle lays an egg, she first wraps it in her feces. The offspring then add their own, sitting in pots of waste that give them their name. Until they emerge as adults. Jars of tiny beasts wrapped in their own excrement might put some people off their dinner, but not David. When it comes to conservation, mammals get top billing. But in terms of numbers, David knows that insects are far more important. There are thought to be between five to 10 million different species. Beetles alone make up a fifth of all living things on our planet. And here in Britain, nearly a quarter of all beetles are in need of help. But how do you help hazel pot beetles which are smaller than a fingernail. There are not many left, making them very difficult to study. Well, Nikki Hewson is working towards a solution. She's a PhD student researching the beetles. This involves breeding them, reintroducing them to the wild, and then carefully following their progress. Covered in their pots of dung, they're difficult enough to see as it is. But on the ground, they might as well be invisible. And then, to make it even more problematical, the larvae dragging their pots behind them prefer to move about at night. So how do you track them? Transmitters would be too big and too heavy. And so Nikki opts for something simpler. Tiny strips of foil are small enough and light enough to be glued to the larval pots. These tagged larvae, bred in David's kitchen, are then released. Even after five months, the foil is still intact. And now, to find them, Nikki simply uses a metal detector a cheap and cheerful solution to her tracking problems. The larvae don't move much, but not much over five months can be quite a bit. By repeating these releases over and over again, Nikki can eventually work out how far these insects move, what habitat they prefer, and how well they survive. So David Hampton's kitchen full of bugs have a real use after all. Indeed, it might be the hazel pot beetles' last best hope. Let's face it, bugs are never going to get the same level of conservation as pandas. So these cheap homespun techniques, cooking foil, kitchens and metal detectors may give the world's tiniest beasts the very best chance after all. And that's it. But do join us again.